On Monday, it was a very eventful day for Liverpool Football Club as it was confirmed that FSG had put the club up for sale and already, a day later, there was reports on who could buy the club. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the top four candidates on who could buy Liverpool. But not only that, we take a look at the club's last 16 draw for the Champions League. And we also have another update with regards to Jude Bellingham and Liverpool. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into today's video, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Yesterday, it was confirmed that the club will take on Real Madrid in the round of 16 in the Champions League. The match, of course, is a replay of last year's final against Carlo Ancelotti's side, meaning plenty of narratives of revenge for the Reds. Jurgen Klopp's side also faced the Spaniards in 2021 during the pandemic in a quarter-final tie that ended 3-1 for Real. Before that, there was the 2018 Champions League final in Kiev between the two sides, also won by Madrid. The last time Liverpool beat Real Madrid was in 2009, having lost five of the last six matches since then. Here's hoping we can turn our form around against them and get ourselves into the Champions League quarter-final. The first leg will be played at Anfield on the 21st of February, and the second leg will be played at the Bernabeu on the 15th of March. The other ties in the last 16 are as follows. RB Leipzig versus Manchester City, Club Bruges versus Benfica, Eintracht Frankfurt versus Napoli, AC Milan versus Tottenham Hotspur, Borussia Dortmund versus Chelsea, Inter Milan versus FC Porto, Paris Saint-Germain versus Bayern Munich. On Monday, Liverpool's owners Fenway Sports Group sensationally announced that the club is up for sale and are now inviting offers. FSG have been in charge of Liverpool since their takeover in 2010, and though they have been polarising figures throughout the 12 years since, they have brought success to Anfield. In that time, the Reds have won eight trophies, including the Premier League and Champions League, reaching two more finals in the latter. A statement from FSG issued on Monday prompted a frenzy in the football world and read, there have been a number of recent changes of ownership and rumours of changes in ownership at EPL clubs, and inevitably, we have been asked regularly about Fenway Sports Group ownership in Liverpool. FSG has frequently received expressions of interest from third parties seeking to become shareholders in Liverpool. FSG has said before that under the right terms and conditions, we would consider new shareholders if it was in the best interest of Liverpool as a club. FSG remained fully committed to the success of Liverpool, but both on and off the pitch. FSG bought the club for £300 million back in 2010, and now the club are believed to be worth a whopping £3.5 billion, and supposedly this is where the bidding will start. It was confirmed earlier today that Liverpool had received their first proposal from an interested party, but at the time of recording, we are not aware of who that is. Now, in this part of the video, I want to take a look at four potential buyers that at the time are recording a top candidates to make something happen. Redbird The early favourite to take up the mantle. Redbird Capital Partners are an investment vehicle that already own a 10% stake in Liverpool. Having stumped up £538 million early last year, owner Jerry Cardinale refused to rule out fully owning the Reds, confirming at the Financial Times Business of Sports US Summit, we did not underwrite that, that was not our goal. I definitely would not exclude it as it would be a privilege, but I think that Liverpool is in fantastic hands with their current group. We are there to support and play a supporting role where we can, but that is phenomenal team and ownership and management all the way down. Back in August, Redbird bought AC Milan in a deal worth more than a billion pounds. Its portfolio includes the Boston Red Sox, Pittsburgh Penguins, Toulouse FC, the Rajasthan Royals, the Yes Network, the Spring Hill Company, Skydance Media, the XFL, One Team Partners and Dream Sports. Whilst they are favourites at the time of recording, in my personal opinion, I do not believe they'll buy the club, mainly down to the fact that they've just bought AC Milan. Middle Eastern Party 
FSG was subject to a reported £3 billion bid to buy the club from an unnamed Middle Eastern party just before Liverpool joined up for the European Super League back in April 2021. John W. Henry rebuffed the offer back then, and whether now that they have put the club up for sale, sees the party return remains to be seen. Another Middle Eastern party has showed interest in the club over the last couple of years, that being Sheikh Mansour's cousin, Sheikh Khalid bin Zayed Al Nayan. Sheikh Khalid failed with a two billion pound bid to purchase the club back in late 2017. Already, there has been two previous bids from Middle Eastern parties, and in my opinion, these would be the favourites and the ones that would excite Liverpool fans the most due to the unlimited funds they seem to have. The Qatar state is also an early favourite, but as I said, it'll be interesting to see what happens with regards to the Middle East. Sir Martin brought led consortium. A familiar name to Liverpool fans, Sir Martin Broughton, plotted to buy Chelsea earlier this year and signalled his intentions to return to football. As the former chairman of British Airways, Broughton was briefly Liverpool chairman back in 2010 and is credited for brokering the Reds' eventual £300 million sale to FSG. Twelve years later, when Roman Abramovich decided to sell Chelsea, Broughton, a lifelong Blues supporter, put his consortium into the mix. He was due to receive serious financial backing from Creative Arts Agency, a US company whose portfolio includes a football agency base and Evolution Media Capital. In his attempts to buy Chelsea, Lord Sebastian Coe was his right-hand man. Given his background as a Conservative MP, however, it may be difficult to have him on board again. Thomas S. Ricketts Thomas S. Ricketts is the co-founder of In Capital LLC and the current chairman of Chicago Cubs. Ricketts is believed to be interested in business ventures outside the US and was keen on acquiring Chelsea earlier this year. The possibility of owning Liverpool is one that will surely entice him. In other news, yesterday the Brazil squad was also announced and it was confirmed that Roberto Firmino will miss out, meaning that only two of Liverpool's Brazilian contingent are on the play to Qatar this month. Liverpool's number nine has been informed for the Reds, scoring eight goals and setting up a further four in 19 appearances so far this season. He has played the sixth most minutes in Jurgen Klopp's squad so far, with 1,276, having returned to fitness after an injury interrupted 2021-2022 season. But his efforts have not been rewarded on the big stage, meaning Firmino has missed out on being selected for his second World Cup, but Alisson and Fabinho have both secured a place on the plane. For those of you that are interested in seeing both Alisson and Fabinho in action for Brazil in the World Cup, they kick off against Serbia on Thursday, November 24th, and then take on Switzerland and Cameroon on November 28th and then December 2nd. The Jude Bellingham to Liverpool saga has been constant ever since the club missed out on Orlean Tuameni in the summer. Every week that goes by, there seems to be a new update, and today is no different as reputable journalist Florian Plettenberg has provided yet another update and has claimed that Liverpool are very optimistic in landing him in the summer. He tweeted, On the other hand, Liverpool are very optimistic to get him in 2023. He's also the main target, Jurgen Klopp is pushing for him, and Liverpool want to invest in the summer. Summer. They expect him to cost 100 million euros plus. Whilst it is early days and this transfer could depend on whether Liverpool get Champions League football or not, I do think if Liverpool do change owners, it will increase their chances of landing the player. New owners will want to make an impact, and with the club expected to be sold by the summer, it could be a perfect chance to land Jude Bellingham and could be the start of some really exciting times when it comes to landing stars. Next up for Liverpool in terms of a game is the Carabao Cup clash against League One side Derby County. This could be a good chance to see some squad rotation and many feel we will see starts from Bisheshik and some are signing Calvin Ramsey. Liverpool fans, what do you make of FSG wanting to sell the club and would you be in favour of being owned by a Middle Eastern state much like Newcastle and Manchester City? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Thank you and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.